Hey everyone, it's Mr. Cinema Junkie back again with a little DVD update. Uh, I checked out a place called The Exchange here in Chicago, and uh, they had a pretty good selection, pretty cool, uh, pretty cool little DVD shop. They don't just do DVDs though; they have music um, on CD, tape, um, records. They have DVD, they have Blu-ray, they have some VHS. I didn't really check out the VHS too much. And the DVDs were well, relatively cool in price. They had some that were like individually priced, like six bucks each, all the way up to like brand new prices to the harder to find stuff, which was like twenty to thirty bucks each. They had some box sets. Um, then they had some that were like pri they were priced uh, like two for ten or four for ten, and some were even ten for ten. Do the math; that's a buck. Uh, but this is what I got, and I think I did pretty good with the uh, extra little. It was a little discount, but with an extra discount, I wound up spending about $23, and I think I did pretty okay. So let me show you what I got here. This is one of the $1 titles, Reservoir Dogs, Tarantino Hit. My favorite is Mr. Blonde. I don't know if anybody cares to know that, but now you know. I got the Amityville Horror Remake. I almost picked this up for about two or three bucks uh, about a month ago. Decided against it. I put it back. And uh, then I found it over there for a dollar. So I'm glad I, I waited. I know a lot of people didn't like the remake too much, but it wasn't so bad. Especially for a dollar. Final Destination 2, I got this one for three reasons. One, my son likes the movie, my son Nathan, he's my youngest. He likes it, and he, although he doesn't really get into movies too much, he'll watch a movie if he's into it. He's into that, so it'll be some father-son time that we can watch that movie. Uh, two, even though I didn't like it as much as the first one, I thought the kill scenes were a lot more graphic, um, a lot more imaginative, a lot more clever, a lot more fun. And third, and most importantly, one dollar. One dollar. Yeah. Okay. 250 title now. Four for ten. We got the unrated Hills Have Eyes remake. I totally dig this movie. And as far as Japanese ghost stories go, I don't like that they take them and they make them into American type versions. I got the original Japanese version here for two fifty. Juan, The Grudge. I had found a few titles over there that would qualify as blind buys and also as independent titles. Never heard of them before, didn't read anything on them, didn't even bother to read the back of them. And two of them caught my interest. One was called Fast Zombies with Guns. The title pretty much gave it away. Or this one that I did get. I passed up on that one and I got this one instead. It just sounds like dumb fun all the way around. It's called Motorhome Massacre. I'm sorry, get that glare off of there. Motorhome Massacre. Definitely judging the book by its cover. Uh, for another another 250 title, Darkness Falls. I I liked this movie. I did. I liked it. It's a good boogeyman type movie, except it's a boogie woman. So, uh, yeah. Anyone who's seen the movie knows what I'm talking about. Right up there with uh, Dead Silence, that kind of stuff. I think it's neat. The Toot Fairy. Okay, I had bought this movie for a cousin of mine for his birthday. I personally have never seen it. Uh, the jury is split on this one. I've heard good things, I've heard bad things, but I thought if I'm going to have an honest opinion of it, I should actually watch it myself. And I don't think it was a bad buy, especially for two fifty. And I know I'm going to say this name wrong because I always do, but it's. Automaton Transfusion. 
zombie movie. It's on the Dimension Extremes label. And I like Dimension Extreme. I do. Uh, they've come out with some pretty good titles, like uh, 13 Game of Death, uh, Inside, um, Broken, all pretty cool titles. I like it a little better than the Ghost House Extreme one. The Ghost House ones, I'm not, eh, I can take or leave. Uh, here's a movie I started watching, and I was really getting into it. Like I, I saw like the first 15, 30 minutes of it, and I was really getting into it. I love the concept of the, of the story. And I don't know what happened. I got distracted and walked away and never, I just, my mind wandered and I never started watching the movie again. And since then, I never saw the movie again. So I saw it there. It was Destiny, 250, Doomsday, unrated. And last, certainly not least, I was looking through the two for ten items i wasn't going to spend more than five dollars for dvd unless it was something really 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 awesome or something i really really wanted so five dollars was my limit i found a five dollar title and this was part of the deadly grindhouse duo my favorite planet terror I know a lot of people like Death Proof better, but this, for me, Planet Terror was it. I loved it. It's zombies, man. How could you not like that? Zombies. So, that's what I got. Um, while I was out there, I checked out a couple other places. I found a couple other titles that I wanted. Didn't have the money right then and there. I may take another stab out that way because there's a Cash America pawn shop right near there. And they had a couple of titles. I hope they still have them when I get over there. And if they do, I will definitely be updating everybody on that. But that, for now, is my DVD update, and here is the second half of this video. Uh, not even a half, it's just a portion of this video. Um, had a pleasant surprise. I got a big congratulations from Maddie McHattie. Thank you, sir. And uh, couldn't believe my ears, and I went and checked it out for myself, and sure enough, there it was, the big 200. I have reached 200 subs, and I thank each and every one of you who took the time to subscribe, to stick around, to um, comment, to promote me to your friends, to, to spread the word. I really, really from the bottom of my heart, I think each and every one of you, when I hit 100, I was total apeshit, but now 200, I'm twice as apeshit. And when I, when I hit 100, I was saying, yeah, I got to come up with a contest. I want to do a contest for this. Now I definitely want to do a contest. It's just money. It just gets in the way, man. But I swear, as soon as I can, contest time. Um, it, it may not be the best prizes. It may not be the greatest prizes. But they will be definitely be sincere from the heart. And at least the cool factor will be kind of high. Okay. I want them to be at least as half as cool as all of you are. So again, I thank you for subscribing, for rating, commenting, and uh, I, I, I'm just speechless. I can't, can't really say much more than that. So thank you one and all. I appreciate it. And uh, I hope I just keep making videos that people enjoy watching. And uh, thanks, thanks to the, to the, uh, to the little guest spots that I get to do on other channels, like David Rediger's channel and uh, Flick Pick's channel, when I get to do the wrestling thing, I hope to do more of that, and uh, the, the Ultimate Movie Showdown, um, doing the dating videos with uh, with Manny McCaddy, that was a lot of fun, um, and, oh, and how can I not, how can I go out without mentioning Crap Cinema Central? Uh, your main source for crappy movies that you will enjoy, I guarantee it. Or at least I hope you do. I can't really guarantee that. Come on. But uh, thank you, Mr. Dyslexic Nick, for the opportunity to share my opinion on that great channel. And I hope to do many, many more in the future. So, okay, I'm rambling now, but main point, thank you. Thank you one and all for the 200 subs. And I think it's 201 now, so whoever that... One that crossed the line. Thank you, too, especially. And uh, we'll see what the future brings. Till then, thank you. This is Mr. Cinema Junkie.
Peace.